New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. We're all exhausted, and I'm sure you're exhausted, but I got a FaceTime yesterday from Kanye West. Okay. He wanted to show me that he was sitting next to the girl, uh, Candace Jackson. Not her name. Keep going. And so they, I pick up the phone. I'm like, yo. He he immediately, you know, on FaceTime, pans it to his side. She's there. She's like, hi. Did you even recognize her right away? Did I? Yeah. Yeah. I, okay, I'm surprised. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I recognized her. And... And that's only because of for the last week I've been inundated with her people hitting me with clips of things that she's saying. Right, 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 right. So what is she saying? When are you gonna have me on your show so I can tell my point of view? And I said, Well, I just don't have people on to have conversations about uh aligning themselves with hate groups and racists. Mm-hmm. That's not what we do up here. Nor do I wanna bring someone else up here to have that. Because I don't believe that this what we're going through right now means that we need to align ourselves with hateful people. Mm-hmm. And why? And she was like, well, you know, you're just going to berate me. I was like, I've never berated you, Candy. Candy. And I went, Candy. And she was like, why are you calling me that? And Kanye goes, yeah, why are you calling her that? I was like, because that's what you would be called in the hood. You'd be called Candy. And then she was like, well, I don't like that. And my mom this. And I, that, it sounds weak. And I don't like it. So she proceeded to uh, do her fast-talking platform that she likes to run. She does talk fast, boy. (sighs) Which I didn't really catch all of it because I kind of started to tune her out and look back at the game because I was watching LeBron and the Cavs. (laughs) Um, When she was finished, I said, well, listen, here's the problem. No one's going to align themselves with Make America Great Again because the people saying the slogan, Make America Great Again, can't even explain what again means. What do you mean again? Make America great. I think everybody could be like, yeah, yeah, we're working. We're a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The again part, people get confused. When? For who? What time? Point it out. When was it great? That's not the only thing she says, though, by the way. That's offensive. She also tweeted this weekend, Ebro, just to keep you up on what you're doing. Um, You had told us a really fascinating story, which we could get into later, about how she was actually attacked by white racists in Connecticut when she was She's from up. Stanford, yeah, in 2007. So an article was written by the, an NAACP leader who defended Candace Owens and is now shocked by her p- political leanings. She wrote, They shouldn't be shocked. They used me when I was a teenager for camera time and played a large part in my eventual understanding that they are nothing but emotional extortionists. I would suggest they stand down before I detail what they did. I'm 11 years older now, but I remember how vividly the NAACP extorted my pain to further their agenda. They're a disgusting group which seeks to extort the pain of black people. Well, and helped your family win a settlement for $37,000 against the school district. So your dad pursued her father, Candy, Candace, what is it, last name? You really want a real last name? Yeah, what is it? Owens. Owens. Um, So that's a real thing. But anyway, and so she went on to tell me about the again part when for her means the time when her sharecropping grandfather was able to buy land. Mm-hmm. That's again? That's her again. Of which I said, so you want to go back to when black folks were sharecroppers? This is the same woman who tells you, to, to, who's telling black people to get their mentality out of the plantation? Yes. And so I concluded the conversation by saying, listen, no one is going to support anything on my side where I stand, where you're aligning yourselves with white supremacists, white nationalists, Nazis, and any of that. And what part of that is leading with love? What part of any of that? And then Kanye goes, yo, my wife's calling, gotta go. And he jumped off super fast, which was mad interesting to me. It was like the boss was calling. Well, the, yeah, well, it was like, yo, my wife's calling, gotta go. She's, he's probably not even allowed to be on the phone with you without Chris Jenner's supervision. 